Don't say I didn't tell you. I absolutely warned you. And some of you guys watching loved his work so much that you reached out to me to collect from him, which easily and naturally makes you a part of the Lamont French journey. Just in June, Lamont held his solo show, Fuego at Sandman Studios in Houston, Texas, as a two-day exhibition under the umbrella of Elise Art Group. And within that time frame, the entire show was sold to collectors locally, domestically, and internationally. Collectors could collect from French between 1200 and 3200 And just in December, his most recent piece sold for 13500 How did that happen? And what does that mean for new collectors that want to collect his work? Also, if you are one of those people that's interested in collecting his work, head over to EliseArtGroup.com, click on Available Works, click on Lamont French, and there you'll see the available works that you guys are available to purchase. And from there, you can inquire, and the email will go directly to me, and we can talk about it. Oh, and before I forget, stick around until the end of the video because we will be revealing a special video revealing some of his thoughts leaving 2021 and heading into 2022. Now, if you guys are also wondering who the piece is by behind me, the piece is by Trey Slaughter. Guys, if you are interested in Trey Slaughter's work, head over to EliseArtGroup.com, Available Works, Trey Slaughter, and there you'll be able to see all of his available works. If you're a little bit more interested in who Trey Slaughter is as an artist and what he's currently working on, again, EliseArtGroup.com, click on Artists, click on Trey Slaughter, and there you'll get all the information you need. What's going on, y'all? I'm Mariah Elise. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you've been rocking with me. On this channel, we talk about the many spectrums of the art world from my perspectives. That's the art market, artist dives, artists that I work with, and of course, briefing you guys on some art news. Now, if you want to get more information like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that like button so you can click up with the videos. That also lets me and YouTube know that you're into these kind of videos, which makes me make more of them, and YouTube gets a hint that you want them to share with more people. Matter of fact, everything beyond the prices of his work is the reason he's able to have works available for sale within his reign. One would be he recently attained representation in the South, Houston, Texas to be exact, from Elio Fine Art, a new contemporary art gallery ran by Trish Matute as Harwood Taylor sits as the gallery director. And although Elio is new, it comes with a ton of history and a heavy punch within the Houston area. Another reason would be his collectors. French's work sits in the collection of so many collectors who are serious about collecting his work of course they have fun of course they love collecting but they're collecting with integrity and they understand the art of collecting his works is in the same collection with artists such as Amawaka Buafo, Basquiat, Bonspan, Donald Judd and so many more another main reason would easily be him having the right team of people willing to be a patron of him and his work patronage as a collector a writer a manager as i am to him a gallery that represents him friends and family and the many others who give earned support towards his career having collectors that spread the message of his name and of his work all of this plays greatly into his success but the most important reason French is continuing to grow is his disciplined drive to grow, learn, expand, and simply do the work. French is in the studio every time we talk. He has made the decision to be dedicated to his practice. He's made the decision to feed himself in any area he wants to promote growth. He has also made the decision to feed into others and become more vulnerable and explorative within himself. He's broadened his perspectives. He's allowing himself to openly feel and he is transferring that into the work. The path of the success of an artist is often a winding one that expects you to be malleable and explorative. Now, if you are a new artist listening to this, growth is a mix of consistency constantly creating opportunities for yourself whether others create them or not networking building relationships and sometimes even luck being at the right place at the right time that is a thing and for an artist to be that type of luck or get that type of luck you need to create that space or be somewhere who has created space for you and your work to be shown you need to do that over and over and over again now roll call to the collectors the writers and so on it's your job and our job to understand the work beyond the purchase most time when you collect the work that you love or you buy you will naturally be a patron you will share their work you will speak highly of them and you may even collect more artists again when you have pure and genuine relationships with as many people as you can, galleries, art patrons, art enthusiasts, collectors as you can, and you have those relationships genuinely, you will always 
ask them to show up and a lot of them will and you got to show up for them too now also guys in just a minute we're going to go into a small brief map of french's exhibition career or his exhibition journey so far up until where he is now and what i think is going to happen for him next but before we do if you are an artist or a collector or an artist manager and you want to use what i use to stay organized i'm going to urge you to use artwork archive it's something i really use in real life if you go to my website eliseartgroup.com click on available works the artist that you're interested in is going to take you straight to artwork archive it's not only for someone like me who manages inventory it's good for the collector who needs to manage their collection and the artist who also needs to manage their inventory the location of their works and so on artwork archive keeps me super organized allowing me to have the most important information on demand i'm able to track my inventory my contacts gallery sales my collection and honestly so much more there are three separate plans one for artists one for collectors and the other for organizations I genuinely live by it. Now, I struck a deal with them that allows you guys to get 20% off your first year, literally because I love it so much. I really do. But before you fully commit, you can try it for 30 days. The link is in my bio. Let me know if you tried it out. I also want to take this time to tell you guys what's going on over at Elise Art Group. Let out a few happenings as well as tell you about some works that we have available by French, Tay Butler, and Trey Slaughter. First off, guys, if you are in Houston, Texas, make sure you stop at the Park and Ride at Hillcroft to check out this beautiful installation by Kobe Dill. In addition to that, there are three available pieces that I want to talk to you about. Bonjour, My Love by Lamont French, Pearl Onion by Trey Slaughter, and Fitted by Tay Butler. If anyone wants more information on these three pieces, please get in touch with EliseArtGroup.com. And I want you guys to know that Bonjour My Love by Lamont French is by the courtesy of Elio Fine. If you want to look at all of the available artworks, again, guys, EliseArtGroup.com, go ahead and click on available artworks. Once you get to available artworks, click on whatever artist it is that you are interested in, and there you'll be able to see all of the available works that we have available for you guys. Now we are finally here at the end of the video where we're going to go over in brief a short summary of Lamont French's exhibition journey. The bridge of French selling out the collection Fuego, also selling this piece that we just talked about for $13,500, as well as getting representation from Elio Fine Art, came from him having four solo shows, cultivating relationships, prying to Fuego. There was a journey to my mind, miscellaneous works, Ode to my mind, a Midsummer Night's Rendezvous, Sam's Song, and then finally there was Fuego. Now, Lamont French has, I believe, four shows lined up next year. That's a ton of work coming you guys' way. That's a ton of work for him, and that's so many amazing opportunities for you guys to come out and see his show. There's so many opportunities for you guys to come out and see his work and see his shows. As time goes by, I believe, I truly believe that he's just gonna get bigger and bigger as an artist. It's an amazing time to begin collecting his work. Art writers, residencies, public art projects, any of you guys watching this that wants to get in contact to us in regards to Lamont French, go ahead and hit me up at Mariah Elise at Elise Art Group. Com. Again, guys, if you're still rocking with me at the end of this video and you want more information like this, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. I'll holler at you guys later. That's all I have for today. Peace. Um, with 2021 coming to an end, um, you know, I have a couple of things that are in the works with Elio uh, as well as with Elise Art Group. So there's more work to come. Uh, there's more work that's already been produced. And I just look forward to becoming bigger um, within my own space, in my own mind, uh, you know, as an artist, there's so many different avenues that you can take as a creative, but just staying true to yourself, that's, you know, that's what I try to do. So, um, you know, that, that's it. You know, I always say at the end of the day, I'm just a Creole kid from Houston, you know, which means I'm no different from anyone else. But my parents, they just allowed me to dream in color, so.